Hey everyone, Alex here with Beer Powered Gaming. I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Check It Out. This week we're looking at a little indie game here called Prison Architect. I've had the uh, opportunity to play this game since the very, very early alpha. I was invited to test it out uh, while they were developing it. I think I got in on it at alpha, about alpha 8. This was way back when it was all black and white and there wasn't very many features. And I've been pretty much keeping up with it and and watching it and through its development for this entire time and I thought that now it's on Steam Early Access and it's available to the general public and it's pretty much close to being released that I think it would be a good time to take a look at it and tell everyone you know what's going on with the game so Prison Architect is a tycoon simulation type game very similar to uh, Theme Hospital or Roller Coaster Tycoon, Railroad Tycoon, certain ga uh, games like that uh, you're in charge of building a prison, and you have inmates that come in every once in a while, and you get money for every inmate, and you have to make sure that you're uh, putting them in their little jail cells and stuff like that. So we're just going to jump in, check out all the features, and uh, you know, have fun with the game and see what we can do, see what new what new stuff was added in the new alpha, and uh, have some fun with it. Now, when you first start the game, you don't actually get this main menu. It starts off with the intro, and then it goes straight into the tutorial. It actually has a really neat tutorial. Uh, it's kind of story-based. Uh, the game itself, if you start a new prison, doesn't have so much of a story as it is just kind of like a sandbox. But uh, the tutorial is really cool. It starts off with a man who is charged for mur uh, well, he's sentenced to death for murdering his wife, who is he caught cheating on him or something like that. And you have to go and build him like the, the you have to build like a little electric chair and stuff like that and get ready to do it. But we're gonna start a prison from scratch. So we're gonna start our new prison. It's gonna be a small prison. Uh, you have all kinds of different little uh, options here. These are actually um, new since the last time I played. Uh, so we can have continuous intake. Uh, we can do some lakes. Uh, we, we don't want any buildings or unlimited funds or anything like that. Failure conditions. Um, I think we have... I think we're only, only limited to... Oh, there we go. Small, medium, large. We'll do small prison real quick. But uh, let's go ahead and play the game. You can even play unlimited funds. Complete, pure sandbox mode. It's pretty cool. But let's go ahead and get in here. So here is our prison. Little prison land right here. Uh, ooh, man, they put a lake right in the middle of the... Wow, that made it really hard. All right, whatever, we'll work with it. So this here is um, your map. All this land belongs to you. So you can build on it. You don't have to buy extra parcels or anything like that. Here comes our workers and some starting, bu uh, starting building supplies here and stuff like that. Uh, it's set up where you have deliveries and garbage so basically stuff comes in stuff goes out and I believe the prisoners get dropped off in deliveries as well so let's go ahead and start by oh, starting our prison here so you hear your little here are your um, menus here Ooh, utilities all right so we're gonna start with uh, building ourselves a little perimeter wall here start the prison going all right, you see your little workers are going in, building everything for you. It's pretty cool. All right, we want the gate. Let's see, gate, 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 gate. Oh, I think it's going to be an objects. Yep, here we go. Ah, uh, we want the main gate. I guess that's this one now. Nah, that's not it. Ah, yeah, that works. I believe. Oh, I have to create the new the wall first. Alright, so I'm going to build that wall. We can speed up time real quick. Uh, here's our cash flow, our bank balance. Uh, here we have our uh, daily cash flow. This is how much money we're going to make per day. The, uh, it's going to show you our to-do list, which is read the CEO's later letter and get ready for our next prisoners. Our prisoners are coming pretty much tomorrow in 21 hours. 
Um, we can read the CO letter. We're going to click there, and it goes, Congratulations on completing your basic introduction, or induction, which is the tutorial. You are now a fully qualified prison architect. Soon you'll be designing, building, and running, blah, 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 blah. Every prison needs a warden. Individual jail cells are expensive, so we start with a holding cell, pretty much. Uh, we want to get a kitchen and canteen up. This is basically your startup tasks. That you want to get, uh, that, that basically, it, it's a guide to tell you how to start your prison. So you kind of want to, pretty much want to start your prison the same way, but after you get your prison started and you get your first prisoners in there and everything's up and running pretty well, the the it, the sky's the limit to uh, what you want to do with uh, with how you want to design it and stuff. So let's see. So here is everything getting done. Let's see if we can put the uh, door in here real quick. Oops. Whoa. Rotate door. There we go. I uh, can't fit it. Okay, I'll put it right there. We'll finish the wall. And we will finish the wall. Alright. So now I'm going to hurry up and build our foundation here. Foundations are basically uh, the starting of your building. So you want to build a big, nice big square. So we're going to build our holding cell right here. go. Uh, we're going to make a little uh, large jail door right there. There we go. It's coming along. Get some paving stones from the main gate. Wherever it is. It's right somewhere. Go, my little minions! Oh, shit! <laughs> I missed the door. Alright, um, how about right there? Uh, clear, clear. Oh, well, it's gonna have paving stones there, I guess. There we go, here. There. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so we have our holding cell here. It's gonna finish this up here, concrete wall. All right, and then we're going to do our room, so it's going to be holding cell. Turn that into a holding cell. That's solitary. It's a holding cell. There we go. <laughs> All right, so we got our holding cell there. Uh, we can sell excess stuff. Let's see here. You can click on it. Yeah, so here's your little options here. I can dump it, sell object, sell it. Gives you some instant money. It's kind of cool that you can sell the wood. All right, so we got that. We got our holding cell. Maybe make a little window in here, right? You know, so they're not too bored. There we go. Then we want to put uh, benches. We should have benches. Yeah, there we go, benches. Put a nice bench in there and some beds. Uh, each room has a requirement in order for it to become operational. So this room requires a toilet and a bench, and then I like to put some beds in there because obviously they want to sleep, you know. So I'm going to put a bed in here and a toilet. Put two toilets in here, and it uh, should be ready to go. Oh, no. Well, once they get added, they should be ready to go. But uh, so there's one bed, a bench, and a couple toilets. That's basically a temporary holding cell. It's not going to be like the whole prison basically right there so now we have that then we want another room uh, let's see we're gonna need another building hold on a second uh should be able to we'll do it this way this will be our um this will be our uh, cafeteria make it a little bigger actually we'll make it big like that and then we'll put a little thing here, and this will be the kitchen. Oops, there we go. Ah, what's going on here? Oh, yeah, that's right. All right, that should work. 
So they're going to build that, and we're going to put a door there. We'll put a couple doors there. So we have our holding cell, our uh, cafeteria, then we're going to need uh, showers, and, a, um, and then a utility shed, and a warden's office. I believe there are um, objectives, so it's not, it's, you can do it as a, stand, uh, as a sandbox, but there are goals that you can reach too. Like here we have our little, our little grants. Uh, you can accept no more than two grants at a time, use your accountant to raise this limit. And there's like, oh yeah, there's research trees and stuff like that. But um, we can uh, take a grant here, uh, and they all have little objectives, so when you want to follow the objectives, it kind of guides you in building your prison. So basic detention center. Build a holding cell, build a shower, build a yard, build a kitchen, build a canteen, hire at least two guards, and hire at least two cooks. So we're gonna do we're gonna take that grant. So and it kind of gives you it gives you like a bonus it gives you a little bit of a bonus, like like a money uh, to, to work on it, and then it gives you a payout when you when you finish the objectives. So let's go ahead and get started here. Uh That might actually be a little too small for the kitchen. Oops. Um, let's see here. Just in case. There we go. All right, rooms. Canteen. There we go. And once that's done, we'll build the kitchen. We only have seven hours till the prisoners get here, so we better hurry up and get some of the stuff done. Uh, I'm going to build now the uh, utility shed, which I'll build over here. Utility shed. And it's going to have a staff. It should, I think there should be a staff-only door. Uh, yeah, staff door. There we go. Bam. And then we'll build another perimeter wall. Uh, like this. Go ahead and go to our staff. Here are our staff. You can unlock more staff uh, members through the research tree. And uh, I believe you can't do research until you get the warden. Uh, but I might be wrong. Let's see. And there's been a couple changes since I last played. Um, there's emergencies planning. Okay, I can. Oh, planning's pretty cool. Planning allows you to sketch out your entire prison before you actually build anything. So that's pretty neat. So like, let's say I wanted to like design everything before I actually built it, I could use the planning stuff. Like, I could create pathways, and it doesn't actually build anything. It just uh, so like, let's like like I'll plan the um, the warden's office over here. So we're like, okay, warden's office, bam. I want it there, and I can plan like different objects and stuff. Like I want the desk there, and a the desk there, and the door there, and stuff like that. So it's all so you can plan it. It doesn't cost any money. It's pretty cool that way. But um. And then you can get rid of the whole plan just by right-clicking and dragging. You can get rid of the whole plan. So there you go. Um, all right, let's go ahead and build the utility room. Utility room. Uh, oh, I think I just go into utilities, right? Yeah. So we'll go power station. And water pump station. Capacitor. Get some electrical cables into the rooms. And then. Uh, do I actually have to rotate them? No, okay. Alright, then we need the large pipes. And you can use the small pipes. Saves money. There we go. Alright. And then let's go back to the rooms. 
and we'll get the kitchen. This will be our kitchen. And we'll put some windows in there. Get myself a nice little prison here. Some windows in here. Uh, prisoners are coming in 10 minutes. All right, let's pause this game a little bit. All right. Um, okay, the walls are done. Hopefully, they don't like try to swim in the lake. <laughs> I've never actually played a. Uh, I've never actually played this game. The lake. The lake is kind of like a new feature and map feature. Uh, so I don't know. They might actually try to like swim. Uh, let's go ahead and get some guards in response to the uh, to the um, prisoners coming in. Uh, we'll get the two cooks. And we'll get the warden. There we go. Now we're ready to go. Then we need a kitchen. So we need a sink, right? Kitchen requires cooker, fridge, and sink. So we're going to get a sink, which we'll put there. Then we need a cooker, which we'll put here, and a fridge. We'll take two fridges. Is that the fridge? That's a bin. Fridge. There we go. I was like, that's a really small fridge. All right. Uh, does it fit? Does it fit? No, it doesn't fit. All right. That's fine. One fridge is fine. All right. So we have that. Then this one needs serving table, table, and bench. So we're going to get the serving table, which will be over here. For the longest time, I actually put these in... Um, <laughs> put these in the wrong way. Uh, see these little metal grates in the, sh in the shadow? Let's see if I can close that. All right. See how it has these little metal grates? That's actually where your tray is supposed to slide across to get the food. I had those facing the other way, and I actually, uh, no one could get food. It was awful. All right. So let's go ahead and put the tables in there. Uh, here we go. Uh, benches can be back to back. So that's really good to know for, um, for uh, space, saving space. You don't actually have to put a space between them. The game kind of does that automatically. Uh, so here we go. Do that. Should have plenty of room for any future prisoners and the prisoners that we have. Uh, why can't I put this table here? Oh, there's a bench there. Ah, ha, ha. All right. There. That should be enough for the prisoners that we have right now, and it's, uh, and it's enough room for me to expand in the future. So we have that. Now we need, let's see, we have the holding cell we need a shower let's go ahead and build ourselves a little shower uh, we'll build one right here Put a nice little uh, door there just a regular door Boop, and boop. All right. So we have that. So we have the shower ready. And then we need the yard. Prison yard. The yard is where they're just going to kind of play around and do all kinds of fun stuff. So let's see here. We'll build a prison yard right here. Nice little tiny prison. All right, so that's the yard. We can put some objects in the yard. I believe. Yeah, here we go. Weight bench. Make sure I'm actually in the yard. There we go. Weight bench. I'm not really sure what else you can put in the yard. I wonder if they added more stuff. Put some lights. Alright. That works. Alright, let's go ahead and play again. Holy crap, here comes all our delivery trucks. It's a lot of crap in there. So I'm going to set you. I should be able to do um, assign staff to areas of your prison. Okay, so I can't do that yet until I have the warden office. So we have that. We have to build a kitchen, build a canteen. That's all coming together. Build a shower. That's coming together. Work, minions. All 
Oh, the prisoners are coming. Oh, there's our first prisoners. It's weird, they're coming on a truck. They used to come on a bus, but I guess now they're coming on a truck. All right. Oh, I need capacitors. Yeah, they're coming. Capacitors are coming. Get another capacitor in there. Uh, utilities. Uh, power switch. Toggle the ability availability of electricity to any cable connected to it. Right click the toggle off and on. So we're gonna put it right here. And then we're going to get our water valve pump. And then we're going to get a capacitor again. Bam. All right. That should be enough for that. So let me just, yeah. Oh, I forgot the water station actually needs electricity to work. So let's go ahead and send some wires that way. There we go. Can I look at the prisoners yet? All right. So here's what you do when you click a prisoner. It can show you everything about them. Sentenced to three years for possession. Family, ex-wife, son, 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 mother to father. All right. Um, here's his convictions. Uh, he's already been in prison before, so you know he's a repeat offender. Uh, this is how much he's served so far. Uh, you can do go in here and see like his punishment, his reform, his security, his health. These are all things... Um, these are all things that go uh, that, that you need to monitor when you have them in your prison, because we need to know that um, uh, you, you need to know that okay, he's he's not a high level threat, so he doesn't need to be like put in like his own cell or anything like that. He's he's not dangerous or anything like that, that yet. Uh, let's see, you, his mood is good. You have to take care of your prisoners in this game, so you have to make sure that they have all the facilities that they need, or else they'll start getting angry. Like if they're not being fed, you gotta treat your prisoners right, or they'll start rioting and like attacking each other and. And then there's like high level, high danger, like high threat prisoners that are all, that are just violent, and you got to be able to keep them away from everybody and make sure that you know they're not, you know, they've got metal detectors, so they don't take like uh, forks and knives from the kitchen and start stabbing each other. I've had problem with that in the earlier versions of the game, where my my prisoners would just always steal stuff from the kitchen and just shank each other. I had like dead prisoners all over the ho holding cell all the time. So as your prison grows, you want to be able to add more facilities to be able to handle these types of prisoners. Uh, see our power station is uh, getting there. All right, we're starting to get stuff built here. Let's speed it up a little bit. I wonder if we can select multiple objects. Nope. All right. So. Uh, this is your uh, cl uh, clock. It's actually really important because when you uh, have what you can do is eventually you can change the schedules around. So, um, you know, you have, okay, sleep from uh, 11 p.m. to 6 a.m., then they all wake up, they get put in their little jail, then they go to shower, then they have about an hour of free time, then they go back to jail, then they have about an hour or two to eat, then they can play in the yard, then they get back to jail, free time, you know, and you can change all this all you want. You can, and then as you add more stuff, like, you can build, like, little schools, you can build uh, jobs for them to do. There's all kinds of cool stuff that you can eventually do for your prisoners as your prison gets more and more advanced. So here our prisoners have been delivered. We're going to put them in holding. All right, all we need is the shower and the kitchen. The kitchen's almost built. Switch on. Switch on. All right. Oh, yep, there we go. Make this the shower. If I can find the dang shower button. Shut up, shower, here we are. The game's pretty helpful too. Um, as you get, uh, when you zoom in into a room, 
uh, it's going to highlight all the objects that can go in that room. So it's like, here's the drain. So I'm going to put a couple drains in there. Uh, and then like a shower head. The shower should be more than enough uh, for that. And then get rid of this. All right, then we need to take the pipes. Yep, you can see that energy is getting sent to the different areas. Um, so I think I need to uh, connect it like this. That should connect it. All right, um, and then I need water over there. So we need to take a pipe. Bam, small pipe. Bam, large pipe. And then small pipe. You can technically put a large pipe over all these little items and they'll still get water, but it's just that the large pipes are more expensive and it's just easier to have the small pipe. There we go. Now they should all be connected. That should be more than enough. Prisoners should be in the holding cells. Oh, that's the thing, too. There's like a fog of war, which means wherever there's not a staff member, you can't see anything. So they're in there, but you can't see anything because you don't have a, a guard in there. Like, you won't, so you won't really see much going on in there. What's wrong with this door? Okay. They're all in there. Oh, I think I got the money for the job. Yep. All right, so that job is done. Let's go ahead and try another goal. I got one high-risk prisoner. A couple of normal risk prisoners. All right, so let's see here. Grants. Next, we need an administration center. So, okay, so it says $5,000 advance payment, 5000 completion bonus for a total of $10,000. Uh, every prison project needs a functioning administration facility. Uh, I'm going to need two offices. Uh, I'm going to need a warden, and then a fine, and I'm going to need to unlock finance and hire an accountant. All right, so let's go ahead and take that grant. And over here, we're going to build our new offices. Actually, I'm going to make them out of brick. So I'm going to build two offices, one and two. And I'm going to go ahead and build a couple doors, staff doors. There we go. All right, Cook's getting to work. It's food time, I guess. So we can set up the path here. lights. For some reason the lights don't actually need power so you don't have to send little wires to the lights. But they're nice to have so that you can actually see around your prison. Good for security purposes. Let's go back over here and grab another path here. Light. All right, almost built here. <laughs> Quick money here. Oops, I fired a workman. <laughs> That's my bad. Get a new one. Get to work. All right. All right, so here's all my prisoners. They're all happy in there. One bed. <laughs> We're going to have to work on getting a cell block for them eventually. I wonder if I can build a bridge. Like, there's got to be a way to cross this 
wonder if there's a way to cross this um, lake. Nope. Uh, this shows all the objects available in the game if you click the little plus sign. Uh, I'm not seeing anything that I can use to get across the lake. So I think the only way I can do it is to go around the lake. And that looks like really complicated, but we'll make it work. Go away, objects. Huh. All right. So our offices are done. So we'll go ahead and what happened here? Change that. And then we'll split the office in half here. Looks good. Uh, yeah, that's fine. All right, there we go. Rooms. Office. Once the wall's set, we'll do it again. Or else, um, I want to wait for the wall to be built because I don't want it. To, I, I don't know if it's going to get confused or not. It used to get confused, but um, it would make this all one office, and I want to make them two separate offices. So I'm going to wait for the wall to get built, and then we'll make the two offices. Everything's looking pretty good. Cooks are looking like they're having fun. Got our workers. Uh, what are we missing here? What's going on here? Oh, I got, okay, I got two. Oh, I'm, I totally forgot to put electricity in there. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Now we're going to need electricity through the offices as well. There we go. And then we need to finish putting in some pipe work for those shower heads. Bam. Looking good. Oh, I was close. I missed it by a little bit. Office, 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 office. Here we are. All right. Then it's going to tell me in order to make this office uh, complete, I need uh, an office desk, a chair, and a filing cabinet. So we're going to go to objects. As I zoom in, it's already going to highlight the things that I need. So here we go, chair, uh, office desk, oops, I think it's this way, yep, office desk, I just gonna move the chair a little bit, whatever, uh, filing cabinet, and I think that's all we need for that, and then over here, chair, office desk, doesn't really fit there pretty, very evenly, but whatever. And a uh, filing cabinet. And then we need some windows. Large window. I wonder if I can make nicer windows. Meh, whatever. Have some windows. There we go. And I believe once the offices are built, I can assign someone to that office. Unlock finance through bureaucracy. Clone, emergencies, planning, bang up. Okay, these are your punishments. Uh, so if, you're, if, you're, um, if your prisoners are getting really rowdy, you can go ahead and um, I'm close this off. Objects, go away objects. Oh, that's weird. All right, um, so like, let's say you can do a, sh a full shakedown. So you can have like everyone, uh, all the prisoners are gonna get shook down and it's gonna find all, all the, the um, bad stuff that they're holding, all the shivs and shanks and all that kind of stuff. And then um, your uh, lockdown locks them all in their cells and then bang up I think is like, you just, let's see, bang up, send all will, oh yeah, that's where you just like beat them up and stuff like that, you can beat up your prisoners. So you can beat up your prisoners, uh, but when you do stuff like that, it like raises the oppression and it, and it, um, and it decreases the morale of the prisoners. So they start to, they start to push back and they'll start rioting and stuff like that. So you can't really mistreat your prisoners too much in this game because they will, they'll riot and that's bad. 
and then you lose money and it makes you look bad um, and stuff like that. So if, actually right now it says I have 16 prisoners, but I have no capacity for any of those prisoners because they're all stuck in the holding cell, which is supposed to be temporary. We really need to start building a cell block in order to uh, handle all the prisoners. All right, so we have the office there. I think this office is ready. We'll put the warden in there. Uh, warden. Oh, there it is, warden's office. All right. Hire an accountant. Uh, where is that tab? Main menu, prison grading, bureaucracy. Here we go, bureaucracy. All right, here's your research tab. This allows you to spend money to uh, unlock new things. Like, um, so each each little tab here is like a main branch of research. So fine, and once you first you have to unlock finance, and that allows you to unlock different things within the finance tree. Then you have to unlock security, which allows you to unlock like deployment, surveillance cameras, dogs, patrols, stuff like that. So each and every one of these things, our armory allows you to get new weapons and stuff like that. Uh, the thing about arming your, your police officers or your guards is that if they get killed or beat up by prisoners, the prisoners will take their weapons and then they'll be armed. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to start with the finance because that's what it said we should get first. So we're going to do that. All right. Looks good. Are we going to feed these guys or what? Get these guys fed. There they go, they're getting food. It's kind of a cute little game, you know, it's not super graphically intense, um, but it really has come a long way, and I really like it. It's pretty fun. Uh, let's see, okay, so we have the warden's office, and we have, okay, and then we have to unlock finance, and then we're going to have to hire an accountant. Okay. So, and then we have visitors, one family's waiting to visit, so we have to make a visitation room, something like that. All right, so let's go ahead and prepare to create our first cell block. So we're going to need... I don't know why that object box won't go away. It's so weird. Oh well, it's a bait. It's an alpha. It's an alpha. Let's see here. We can go do this. Create a new perimeter wall. Pretty expensive to create a bit of a perimeter wall around here. We gotta create one. All right, there we go. And then let's see. We'll go this way temporarily. All right. So that should work. And then we'll create the first cell block. Concrete. Ah, forget it. Uh, let's go over this way. Uh, let's try this. Ah, damn it. Did it fuck it up? There we go. All right, let's try this again. Building concrete. That works. Bam. All right, that should be our cell block. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the perimeter. Put another door. Right here. It's that jail door. Doesn't look like a jail door to me. Alright, I guess that's the door. Alright, hopefully that's the door. I 
I don't think it's selected on the door. Uh. Huh. Oh, okay, there we go. That's why. It's because that stupid thing. It's that bug. Alright, here we go. Jail door. There we go. Now it's good to go. Lots of building to do. Alright, did I get the finance? Okay. Um, hire an accountant. So we're going to go ahead and hire an accountant. There we are. Oh, okay. There's her office. Bam. Now we got two offices. And we got the $10,000 we needed. I have a cash flow of $1,000. Uh, this is from... Let's see. Based on your current expenses and income, click for details. So we have federal grants of $2,000. We have the prisoner min minimum security prisoner grant. So for every, min for every minimum security prisoner, we get so much money. We get $375. Uh, for every standard prisoner, we get $1,000. Ma max sex prisoner, we get $200. Uh, then we have to pay wages. So you have to wor worry about that. So we get about a grand a day. So, oops, I did not want that many people. What the hell? Ah! Ah, go away. Ah, okay. Sack. Sorry, sorry, it was a hiring. Uh, we overbooked your job. Sorry. Hiring freeze. Budget cuts. Okay. Let's see. So we got that going. Almost done with the new wall. We're almost done with the new cell block here. We need to create a new perimeter fence. Oops. Are they still building that? Alright. As long as they're still building it, I don't care. All right, let's speed it up a little bit. Everything built. Plant all the trees. I think the walls are built. I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah, they're, I think I'm pretty sure they are. Okay, once that trash gets taken out, we can get rid of these fences. Well, actually, we can get rid of the fences now. Um, <coughs> couldn't bulldoze. I think, I think it got everything. Let me just demolish walls, my bad. This is probably more. There we go. Alright, and then objects, we can dismantle objects. Like that. And yeah, that should do it. Alright, that should get everything. Oh, I think I might have fucked up. Build your wall, hurry up! <laughs> before they dismantle everything. Let's get another workman in here. Good work. Built yet? All right. So pretty much this is me building the prison here. Uh, what we're going to be doing? We got some staff exhausted. So what we really need to do is build a staff room so the guys can relax for a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and build that real quick, and we'll make it out of brick. Staff room can go right here right now. It's a nice size staff room. There we go. Alright. It can get a little crazy, especially when you get into the, the later game. It can get pretty crazy. But for right now, we're just going to get this all dealt with. We're just going to build a real small prison here real quick. Uh, we're not going to get too deep into it. Uh, it's a pretty simple game. I mean, just basically, as long as you're following all your... Uh, uh, eventually, uh, you got needs. Uh, once you get the psychologist, uh, he'll be able to talk to the prisoner, and the prisoner, and then he'll tell you like what uh, it, what to give for your prisoners, what they want, what more, what they want more. Uh, eventually, you can have policies. You can set uh, prison policies, uh, like rules for the prison. Uh, you can hear monitor your prisoners. You can monitor your staff. Uh, you got jobs here. Everyone's doing their little job. Uh, let's see here, programs. 
Uh, basically, um, once you get prison labor, you can assign uh, prisoners to like kitchen staff, carpentry apprenticeship. You can get them all into jobs and getting them uh, into like, like things like that. And you can also do it for your guards too. Like you can get your guards taser certification stuff like that. Here are your finances, uh, valuation. This is how um, how what this is the value of your prison, how good it is. Um, so it's it's pretty it's pretty in depth. For an independent game, I mean, it's like everything you'd expect a prison to be like. I, I would assume, like I've never been to prison, so I couldn't really tell you <laughs> right away. But I mean, from like movies and stuff, it's pretty much everything you would think that a prison would be. But um, you can stop prisoners from coming in, I believe. If uh, I think it's in the reports, um, prisoners cannot remember where they put it, but you can stop new prisoners from coming in. Uh, should be able to stop new prisoners from coming in. Used to be able to. Prison grading. Zero prisoners have been released. Ten prisoners must be released before this report can be compiled. Okay, so that's when they serve. All right. Got the prisoners. Uh, I thought I was able to stop intake. But I guess, I don't know, I'll have to look into that. Oh, uh, let's see here. Let's get that built. Alright, so I guess, oh, what the hell? What the hell? Get that wall built. Oh, okay, that's not what I wanted. Some some new prisoners, apparently. I'm running out of space for the prisoners. Right, and build that wall. All right, before they notice, there's a hole there, <laughs> and they try to escape. <laughs> yeah, prisoners will try everything to escape, especially like the the high risk ones. And I only have two guards, so yeah, they're already unhappy. I think they'll tell you if they're happy or not. Uh, see here, normal security, punish, search the cell, character, uh, experience. Rating. This is my refund defending chance. Okay. Uh, where's his morale at? Character. Oh, oh well. Whatever. Alright, we're almost done. So I think we are done. Let's get an entrance built. Uh, objects, objects, objects. Uh, jail door. Large jail door. There we go. Put it right here. There we go. That's the object that we need. Oh, something's going on. I think we have a. Uh, they're gonna try to escape. They're trying to escape. <laughs> they're trying to escape out that hole. All right, I think I got him. All right, it tells you what happened too. Incident report: one awaiting solitary confinement, two in lockdown. All right, three families waiting to visit. One staff member is exhausted. Build a staff room. Blah 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 blah. Okay, let's go ahead and build the door for the staff room. There we go. Run a little low on money. Let's take another grant. Uh, cell block A. That's right. Um, complete basic detention center. Okay. B raise your prisoner capacity to 15. So we're going to build cell block A. Gives us a little money. And we have to raise our prisoner capacity to 15. Right now I have 24 damn prisoners. I can't remember how to stop the... Oops. I can't remember how to stop the um, prisoners from coming in. There sh I remember there was a way. I used to be able to click on here. But... Um, All right, that's built, that's built, okay. Yep, I need a new wall here. Brick wall. There we go. Uh, we can give our, give you a nice wooden floor here. Nice little office, raises the morale. Do the same thing in here for the staff room. Uh, maybe like I'm uh, not sure what I would want. I guess wood is fine. Alright, and then we need to get the objects. Uh, it says to, for the staff room... Oh, I didn't set up the room yet. Alright, rooms. Ah, uh, staff room. There we go. There we are. And then for this room, we need a wide sofa and a drink machine. So, objects. Wide sofa. Make 
couple sofas here. They're gonna chill out and talk about how they hate prisoners and how everyone's a bastard. Actually, I don't think that's okay. We'll just put the two sofas there. I'll put the sofa here. And we're like, hey, you know, prisoner so and so, he's a real knee biter. <laughs> All right, uh, okay, so that's good. We got that going on. We're gonna need electricity to there. There we go. Then we need to go over here and deal with this cell block. Uh, let's go with, uh, let's build some walls. So we're going to go like this. And like this. And I'm going to carve them into little cells. So we need 15 cells. So one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Might not even get to say 15 cells. Seven, eight, uh, nine, ten. Ooh, we're so close. Maybe I can make them smaller. Eleven. Twelve. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen. Damn it. Split. Uh, I think that's it. All right. So we need rooms, and we need to get the. Well, once the walls are built, we need to get the prison stuff in there. All right. So our cell block needs to be a little bigger. Damn. So close. I never get it right the first time. Speed it up a little bit. Ah, shit, no. Speed it up a little bit. Alright, prison's coming in. Getting built. Staff room's built, everyone's happy. Prisoners getting food. I'm gonna need to really expand that here pretty soon. Got a lot of hungry prisoners. Uh, let's go ahead and get the electricity down here. So I'm gonna build this uh, cell block and get this last grant and I think we can pretty much end it from there. I think that should do it. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Alright, so they're having problems building the rest of it because there's no doors. So <laughs> so we need to go ahead and build doors. Um objects. Uh jail door. Jail door, 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 jail door. There we go. And then rooms. Uh where is that no cell, here we go. Cell. So then we go this is a cell. This is a cell. This is a cell. All right. This is the uh, deluxe cell, the suite. Tiny little cell. Oh, good. Just so they can be actually really tiny. Two by three is the smallest they can be. So technically, they're all deluxe cells, with the exception of those two. All right. We got that going. All our cells are built. Oh, did I forget a couple doors? Of course, one. I okay. Now they're there. All right. Um, then each cell, I believe, needs a toilet and a bed. So, basic amenities. Objects. Here we go. Toilet. Toilet. I like to put the toilets on the same side for pipe purposes. You know, then the pipes don't have to be, you know, too crazy. So all the toilets go on the same side there, and all the toilets go on the same side here. And then a bed. 
Uh, the one thing I wish they would do with this game is they would allow two prisoners to share a cell. They, every prisoner gets their own cell in this game. It's kind of a little, it's a little weird like that. I thought I, if I put two beds in there, I could get two prisoners in a cell. But the moment I assign the second prisoner, it unassigns the first prisoner. And I was like, well, that's lame. But, you know, maybe that'll be something they add in later. Look at the bed in there. Yeah, we're getting it. Getting it. All right, we'll go ahead and get the water set up. We should be able to cross. Oh shit. Alright, I shouldn't be able to cross. Jesus. Can I go diagonal? No, you can't go diagonal. Oh, hold on, I can just connect to this pipe here. There we go. Woof! This is one project, I'll tell you what. Alright, here we go. Just enough pipe, so I can get the little pipes going to each little thing. Alright, there we go. Kick it. Why can't you get to that? Oh, I think, okay, hold on. I think I know what's going on. We need to go here and go, uh, door mode locked open. And then once we uh, finish building it, we should be able to, uh, Dang it, I can't click on these doors. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Door mode locked open. Until everything's finished. That way the guards don't have to come down here and open the doors so that my little dudes can do their job. Oh, that door, that, oh those doors aren't built yet, that's why. Utilities. I guess. Ah, uh, let's do this. There we go. I should connect them. All right. So we got. Uh, door mode locked open. Okay, they're not built yet. Almost there. Almost done. Almost done. Raise your prisoner capacity to 15. So we got it to, um, I think we got it to 13. So we just need two more cell blocks, right? We can do that real quick. That should fit two more cell blocks. Oh, objects. God, that, that is an annoying bug. <laughs> okay, that should do it. Faster! Get to work. Hopefully my prisoners haven't murdered anybody yet. Uh, two awaiting solitary confinement, one lockdown, two requires medical attention. Oh, man. What a nightmare. Okay, let's see everyone get to work here. Building this cell block. I'm going to go back into bureaucracy here. And let's see. Well, bank loan allows you to borrow large sums of money. Tax relief costs ten thousand dollars. Can't afford that. Uh, we'll go with uh, s health. That's a good one. That way we can get a little medical attention to these people. Door mode locked open. There we go. We're gonna need some more guards. We got way too many prisoners. Guard down here. There we go. Ah, oh, who's sleeping there? Oh, it looks like someone already got assigned to prison. Okay, here we go. Get these beds in here. The cell's not finished yet. Still needs a toilet, I think. Oh no, the toilet's in there. Okay. Um, door normal. There we go. We need the rest of the pipes. I believe. 
believe they're all on the same little wall here. So I should be able to get this all going. Mm. Rough. Oops. Actually, I might be able to... There we go. And then... There we go. Maybe even... There we go. <laughs> Alright. Let's see how that works. Wish we'd hurry up and get some frickin' electricity in here. They're working as hard as they can. A lot of delivery. More prisoners. <laughs> and they... Look, we got blood on the floor. They've been fighting. They hate each other. They're not happy at all. Not at all. I have not been able to... Uh, I know, There's got to be a way to stop this prisoner intake. I can't remember how to do it. I'm going to I'm gonna have to remember how to do that. Uh... I have to look into that again. All right, but this is coming along. We got seven cells so far. All right, we got the electricity in. That's good. This is like my new project right here. Oh, prisoners are getting assigned to the rooms. What? Where are they escaping? What's going on? Did they still not build that wall? I put a... What the hell? <laughs> what happened? What happened? <laughs> okay, well I lost all well at least I have to worry about him anymore. <laughs> I thought I had a wall here. Did they break out? Was there a riot? I think there was a riot and I think they broke out. I think that's what happened. Oh well. Oh well at least that's prisoners I don't have to deal with anymore. Shit, that's not gonna be good at all. That's gonna be terrible for my prisoner rating. Shoot him! Shoot him! Ah, failed prison. You know, usually I, I fail because my prisoners keep killing each other. I've never, ever had a hole in the wall up here before. I wonder if someone dug out. That must be new. I think they broke the door or something? I don't know. I don't know what happened. Oh, well. At least I only have ten prisoners left. That's one way to deal with the prisoner intake. Categories minimum, normal, max. There's got. I remember there's a way to change that. Staff, jobs, needs, regime, policy, grants, programs, finance, evaluation. Hmm. Oh, well. Yeah, with all the prisoner escapes, I'm like the worst prisoner in the world right now. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure I'm the worst, pri I'm the worst prison in the world. Oh, who's this? Is he dead? Oh, he's unconscious. Okay. We have a PR disaster brewing here. Far too many prisoners have escaped recently, and it's your fault. <laughs> Lock this place down and make sure nobody else escapes. Otherwise, the press will expect your head on a flatter. All right, let's put everyone in lockdown. There we go. So now I have to wait till tomorrow to get back to normal, normal operations. See if we can get this maintenance guy to fix that wall. There we go. Fix that wall. There. Is there something wrong with the door? Repair. I guess they did. Yeah, it was like a full-on riot. Like, they escaped and broke the door. All right, there we go. All right, now the lockdown can come off. All right. Everyone get back to work. All right, that one's done. Door normal. Door normal. Door normal. These are all done. All 
Yeah, all the cells are done because it says I have I had 13 cells and now I can I can take 13 prisoners. So all the cells are actually done now. Normal and cell object and normal. So all the prisoners are here. I'm with the water. Is it a pipe issue? Utilities. Oh yeah. Well, let's build another pipe. Let's build some pipes like this. There you go. That should work. Uh, door lock open. That should fix everything. Uh, that's weird. Alright, then we need materials. We need the, uh, not brick wall, concrete wall. There we go. And then a concrete wall. There we go. And a jail door thing. There we go. And then we need this to be uh, open. And then we need the room. Uh, cell, cell, cell. There we go. One and two. And then we need the bed and the toilet. And the bed. And that should do it. Uh, utilities. I need the electricity. I need water. And I need electricity. There we go. Pretty good to go. Normal. Normal. What's it missing now? Five by five? Oh, it went to holding cell. God, I hate when it does that. It's not supposed to be a holding cell, it's supposed to be a cell. 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 Yeah, I did it! I got $20,000. Alright, so as you can see, this is our basic prison, pretty much. So that's pretty much how it goes. As you can see, you got. Prisoner escapes, you got uh, people trying to break through and stuff like that. It was pretty much nuts and a nightmare. But um, that's pretty much Prison Architect in a nutshell. Uh, it gets really, it gets more complicated as your prison grows. Eventually you'll get high security prisoners. You'll have to start execute, you'll have to create like an execution place for like the, those prisoners that were sentenced to death and you can do executions. Um, again, you can add like, let's take a look at some of the rooms here. I'll put on pause here. You have visitation, you can build a visitation room to allow your prisoners to visit with their families and stuff like that, which also increases morale. Uh, we have the infirmary, uh, the garbage, which is like a trash room. So all that trash that you saw there wouldn't just sit there until they took it out to the garbage. They can put it in a room. Uh, there's also a deliveries room. So like instead of all the deliveries sitting up there taking up space, they go into like a nice little room where you can have it all um, put in one little place so that the workers can get it pr like from to and from everywhere. Uh, easily storage. Uh, you have solitary. Uh, there, there it is, the execution room, the workshop, which is where you can send your uh, prisoners to learn new trades, the laundry room. There's all kinds of cool stuff. I mean, there's the kennel for the dogs, the cleaning cupboard for like, as you can see, like there's blood and dirt and shit and all kinds of other nasty stuff on the floor. Uh, eventually, you get a, you can get a janitorial through the, um, you go to maintenance and you can get the janitorial groundskeeping and stuff like that. And that allows you to, um, and we can actually go to maintenance. That allows you to uh, keep everything clean and neat, and that raises your prison report. So right now we have just as much just as many prisoners as we have cells. At this point, this is where I would stop prisoner intake, if I could f remember how that is done. Used to be you uh, just clicked on um, the prisoners and stopped them, and then you could say stop taking prisoners. But uh, however it is, um, I have more to learn about this game, but I really like playing it. It's really fun. 
Uh, it looks simple and it's really easy to learn how to play, but like I said, it's really complicated and you really have to focus. Uh, it can get really complex. I shouldn't say complicated. It's simple to, to, to learn and play, but it's very complex. And uh, as you can see, they, they broke right out of the wall there. So you, obviously you need to make sure your guards are in tip top shape. Mine are all injured and hurt. So I need to build that infirmary and get a doctor so they get all fixed up. Uh, if you have, if your prisoners are too injured or if there's too many escapes, you can get fired and you can lose the game. So there is a way to lose the game. Again, there's no real story yet. Um, uh, that happens in the tutorial. There's like a little story mode. It would be really cool if they did add a story mode uh, so that you can do like scenarios, like what, different types of prison scenarios. For right now, it's just a big sandbox, and it's really fun. Again, it's on. It's available on Steam Early Access if you want to jump in. Uh, I feel like it should be. Um, they've been developing it for a really long time, so it should be. It should be getting pretty close to uh, the end there. Um, there's really, it's, it's pretty much feature complete. I can't really see too much more that they could add to this game other than maybe more yard objects and of course that scenario mode. So right now it's a fully, it's a fully complete game that's really fun and worth the money right now to play. Uh, I haven't, uh, I'm still in the alpha myself. So, uh, thank you guys for watching uh, another episode of Check It Out. Uh, next week we'll be looking at, uh, Don't Starve Together. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And I will be offering a free copy uh, of Don't Starve Together next week uh, to, start, uh, to a certain number of subscribers. So definitely be there uh, next week to check out that episode to see how you can get your hands on a free copy of Don't Starve Together. And if you have any other games that you would like me to check out for you, um, definitely let me know. I have a huge backlog of games, uh, so I might even have it. If not, I'll go out and grab it real quick, and we can look at it, and you can see if it's a game that you would be interested in playing. So, I mean... Why buy the game when you can watch me play it for you uh, before you spend your money on a game that you might not even like? So again, uh, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, comment. Uh, if you have any questions about Prison Architect, I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. Uh, there's more to this game than what you saw here. This is just a brief run through of some basic features. As you can see, even, uh, even on a small prison, <laughs> I almost got fired. Uh, so thank you all again for watching. Uh, this is Alex. I'm out of here. Uh, have a good day.